Well, you wrote an interesting column today on the shadowleague.com. A about, little different, right? Yeah. Outside how the box. Kawhi saved the NBA. So I'm going to give you the floor and let you explain it, and then I'll respond. I believe his run and what he's been able to do this year, can, can we were headed towards, hey, you got to team up. You got to get two or three guys to play together in order to win. That's where the league was headed. It was all about super teams and trying to cluster stars together. I don't know if you need a cluster of stars or you need a super, a real superstar with other players. And I think that's what Toronto was able to do. They didn't do anything special. They didn't sign any free agents. They didn't have to go get it, try to convince other people. They took their star, DeRosa, right? DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan. They took their star and they traded it for another star. A star that wasn't happy somewhere else. They rolled the dice even though they weren't sure whether or not he's going to stick around or not. He can be a, he's an unrestricted free agent. He can bounce. But they said, we have a good team. We haven't had success the last couple of years in the playoffs, right? Got swept two years in a row by right. LeBron. So they just decided, we'll, we'll take a chance. And so to me, this was more like the traditional way of how you do it. And I think Toronto just showed people maybe if you get the right star – and the right people around him, you don't have to have two and three stars. I think that's where Milwaukee's headed. We saw how far Milwaukee went until they ran into Toronto, and it was Giannis and a bunch of guys, right? Right, right. And they had the best record in the NBA. And at one point when they uh, were up 2-0 against Toronto, everybody was crowning Giannis. Oh, he's got a legacy going. It's going to be all about Milwaukee. If you want to crown him? Then crown their ass. Exactly. Who, who's going to stop Giannis? That's what I, that's what we all heard. And Giannis got crowned early, and then hit him uh, Kawhi Leonard and, the, and uh, the Raptors, and they beat him. So I just think their success, especially if they win it, but their success doing it what I would call the old-fashioned way, not being star-laden or feel like you have to stack stars in order to win a championship, I think is a good thing for the NBA, and I think – especially if they win this and Golden State has all the stars and they just have one, this will be a return to the NBA we used to know. And that's why I think he has a chance to save the NBA. I disagree on several levels. Number one, the NBA doesn't need saving. Yes, it does. The NBA is bigger than ever. The NBA is growing by leaps and bounds overseas. The NBA's players are the most marketable and recognizable guys in the Athletes in the world. I'm talking about competition. I'm talking about a competition aspect. Competition or not, it's about popularity, which is about money. So the NBA is doing fine. So this notion that it needs saving is ridiculous. It's offseason is the biggest offseason in sports. Bigger than the NFL's offseason. Bigger than baseball's offseason. Everybody's concerned about free agency. Every national TV and radio show is consumed with NBA talk. So the notion that it needs saving is the first thing that's wrong. The second thing is that when you say go back to the NBA, how it used to be, what do you mean how it used to be? Even if Toronto wins it, we've seen this before. Dirk Nowitzki beat a super team, was the only star on his team. Jason Kidd was old and passed his prime. That was in 2011. Didn't change a thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. When did Kevin Durant go, when did Kevin Durant go to Golden State? That was that was that was that was eleven or that was before that Dirk, Dirk won. It wasn't before. I did, I, you said that that Dirk won that way, but yeah. once Kevin Durant went to join a super team, that's when everybody said, "Oh my God, this is what you got to do in order to get there." So it's it's no, prior it isn't. it's no, it prior isn't. to him People going. Said it when LeBron they just did went it. to five champion five championships in a row, first time since the sixties. Yes, you keep saying that like that's a problem. It is a problem people, for most people fans. like dynasties. No, 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 no. This is not a. That's not the a, most that's popular not, stretches no. in the. Look, I let you have the floor. Go can ahead. I cannot talk. Go ahead, talk. The most popular stretches in NBA history have been when dynasties existed. The most parody in the league was ni- the seventies, when you had eight teams win championships, and that was the worst decade of NBA basketball. Games were on tape delay. The 80s, many people think, saved the – that was the decade that saved the NBA. You only have five teams reach the finals, let alone win it. You only have four and it won championships. But five reached it. And every year it seemed like it was either going to be Bird or Magic. 
Magic went to nine finals. Did Magic go to five in a row? No, but he oh, went okay. to nine total. Okay. What's better, five in a no, row I'm, or nine total? I'm asking you five nine in a row. Nine total. It hasn't happened. That's that's the difference in the league now. That's, and you, You're and hung it, up on that. We're seeing something new. And, and then Michael Jordan wins six in eight years and probably only lost the other two because he didn't play. And then those two years, Houston won back-to-back. And then we had Shaq, Kobe. What are you talking about? You have We've always had these no, dynasties. No, we haven't. All of them have been super teams. No, they the haven't. The only difference is that these super teams are player generated, but the other ones were front office generated. They're still super teams. No, they're not. Bird it's Celtics t- it's wasn't totally, a super team. It's totally different. Was the Bird Celtics uh, not a super no, team? No, but it came through the draft naturally. It's so not. You're the, fine with naturally. the front office doing it. You're Na- fine no, with it's the front not about office doing it. It was natural. You're not fine with players. They made a trade. You, when you trade a player, you're giving up something to get another player. It's totally different, Chris. No, it's, it's not, not. the same it's players thing. players versus the ownership. That's it's what it is. It's not the same thing. You and don't the other like thing the you players can, doing it. No, That's it has fine. nothing to do so with it. Admit it. It's about competition. It has nothing to do. I've always been How about free agents. There was five teams that reached the finals in the 80s. Where was the competition? But the difference is you didn't know for sure. That really? The, that the, you did. I did. No, I don't you know what you were watching, but I knew the Showtime Lakers were reaching the finals just about every year. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Chris, really? How you gonna tell it. me what I didn't know? You didn't know that. Not didn't I didn't know. even know Michael Jordan was gonna win all six years. Well, I didn't that's know just, that. That's your fault. Ain't nobody know that's during that fault, time. Brother. I was covering the league. I was there. Nobody knew he was gonna win all six times. That's a fact. Which one of those teams you did you think was gonna beat him? I, I didn't. Th- Why I didn't, was he favored every single year? When the Knicks were up two to two zero and Charles Smith missed a layup in Game Five. I wasn't sure Michael Jordan was winning the championship that year. The Knicks were really good. Ain't no way everybody knew he was going to win. I we never, knew before I never the season the started were that the, Golden the State was going to the finals. Again. I never, and I knew it every time and Michael Jordan thing, started winning. You got the same elitist attitude that you don't get. I do? Yeah. You, you do. do. No. You, you're fine with no. the elite ownership no. choosing. No. no. That ain't nothing. No. 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 You're fine with the elite ownership no, choosing the no. teams. That but ain't when got the nothing. players no. want to do it, that ain't got you got a problem. You Talking about Mr. Company Man. You're misrepresenting me. You're rebellious. You're, you're fine no. with the rich owners no, doing that ain't got it, but not to do the with players. It. I'm talking that's about got everything to do with I'm it. Talking that's about, the only difference. No, it ain't. I'm talking about the fans. You're good with it if it's just two or three good teams. The Lakers, the Warriors. There's a whole other NBA America out there that's on the outside looking in. That's what I don't like. 28 teams don't matter in this freaking league. You know it, and I know it, and everybody knows it. They don't matter. So as long as you can sit up on your high horse and talk about the Lakers every day and talk about the Warriors and the three or four teams you talk about, you think you're talking about the NBA. You're not. You're talking about the elite four or three teams of four, three or three or four teams, and you're not talking about the NBA. When have and we that's ever the talked problem. about? When that, have, that's the problem. When have we ever talked about the twenty, the all the teams? That's in the, the problem. When did we? When was Sacramento ever on everybody's list? When the Detroit list? Pistons with huh? no stars yeah, went to the NBA time. finals, all they right. went to the NBA finals. You, you can sit here and yell all you want. It doesn't make you. You're yelling too. It doesn't bring any more fat. You're, you're yelling you keep too. You cutting me off. Now you you go. I, I sit there and let you talk. And let you yell. Yeah, but you're not gonna rip, misrepresent what I'm saying. I, I ain't and you're not to gonna misrepresent and, and Chris, what you're saying. No, you're let not, me finish. No, no. Are you? Go no, ahead, I'm go not. Ahead, Rapper, Cause ahead. you're not gonna sit here and tell me I'm some damn company man. No, I know you on the side of the owners building the team and not the players. Explain it. It's competition. Fans ain't complaining. The fans love the game. The fans all over the all over the world are tuning into the game. I talk to Look fans at Toronto. as well they, all Jurassic the time. Jurassic Park, they've been up there since 7 a.m. Yeah, they were in the finals. There's a lot of teams that have no shot, and that's what I'm talking about. That's competition, every sport except on no, baseball. It ain't. No, Who's it ain't. talking about baseball? It ain't. Go Where's look at the hockey. Where's attendance in baseball? They got, at oh, hockey, we talking about hockey? Different, different teams go, we different teams about go to the Stanley Cup Finals every year. We talking about I'm hockey? I'm just telling you. Yeah, and hockey's really popular. That's fine. It's more popular than the NBA. It's not popular with you, but I'm just telling you. The fans love it better than what are you and doing? And you jump, misrepres- no, I'm, I'm not. misrepresenting no, I'm not. You misrepresent me. You're going to sit here and say hockey is in a better place than the NBA. I'm not going to sit here and allow you to misrepresent what I'm saying. That's all you, I'm you saying. Sit, You're not going to you paint me in some what corner. What did I do? You, you just brought said, up race, you not said, me. You brought up the owners that I'm in some owners' corner. Since when, Chris? Because, look. Since the, when? The Boston Celtics of Bird. Since when? Let me, can I finish? Can I answer your question? Do you want an answer? Or you just not? 
The Boston Celtics of Larry Bird, put together by the front office of ownership, were a super team. The Los Angeles Lakers of Showtime in the 80s, put together by ownership and front office, was a super team. Shaq Kobe, a super team, put together by the front office. We've had super teams before. It. Miami wasn't the first. The Boston Celtics are the big three with Garnett, Ray Allen, and Paul Pierce put together by front office and management, a super team. The only difference is now it's player generated. LeBron James put Chris, together his own. No, let me finish. It's false. Let what you're finish. saying is Stop. false. Let me finish. My op- what, what's this about opinions? Let me have my opinion. You got your opinion. You ask me a question. Player generated. LeBron James generated his own super team in Miami. Then if you want to say he did it in Cleveland, that's fine too. And Kevin Durant decided on his own, I want to go to Golden State. Another player generated super team. So the super teams aren't new. What's new is that players are putting them together, not the front office. That's the only and the ownership. That's the only difference.